Okay, let's look at another example uh, using nodal analysis, all right? So what we're gonna say here is that we've got a reference node, of course that's set to zero volts. We're gonna define a node here. We're gonna call this the V1 node. We've got a node over here. We're gonna call this the V2 node. And then look, we've got a node over here. This is all the same point, isn't it? So we're gonna call that the V3 node, all right? So what we're gonna do now is effectively sum the currents at each of these nodes. So let's look at the V1 node. So here we go. All right, what's going in? Well, we've got this, what, one milliamp going in. All right, so that's one milliamp. Okay, uh, let's look at what's going out. So we're gonna look at the voltage V1 minus V2, which defines the current in that direction. So that's a minus, isn't it? Open the bracket, V1 minus V2. And of course, that's divided by that 1K. What else? Well, we've got the current going in this direction as defined by what? V1 minus V3. So that's a minus, open the bracket, V1 minus V3. And that's divided by the 4K. Are we done? Yes, we've got this, we've got this, we've got this. So all of that is equal to zero. So there's our first node equation. Let's look at the V2 node. All right, so V2 node. All right. <clears throat> All right, V2, with respect to the reference, of course, we've got a current going in this direction, so that's a minus, isn't it? V2 over the 3K. Current going in this direction would be defined as V2 minus V1 over 1K, so that's a minus V2 minus V1 Divide that by 1K. And then I've got the current in this direction is defined by what? V2 minus V3. So that's a minus bracket V2 minus V3. And that's divided by the 2K. Have I got everything? Yes, I've got this, I've got this, I've got this. So all of that is equal to zero. So two node equations. My third node equation. So this is the V3 node. Okay, let's have a look at this. V3 node, well, I've got this current here, so that's a minus V3, isn't it, divided by the 5K. The current I'm going to define in this direction based upon, in fact, I'm taking V3 minus V2, so that's a minus V3 minus V2, and that's divided by what, the 2K. Um, I've got the 2 milliamps going in this direction, so that's a minus 2 milliamps. Um, then I've got, uh, what, I've got the current defining in this, or defined in this direction as being, what, V3 minus V1. That's a minus V3 minus V1, and that is divided by that 4K. And I've got everything now, and all of that is equal to zero. Okay, so here's our circuit. We've looked at defining three equations. We've basically got, what, one, V1, and V2, and V3 as the unknowns. And we can use those equations really to solve for those unknowns. This is the circuit analysis. This is the nodal analysis. The rest really is collecting all our terms together, taking our three simultaneous equations and using whatever technique we wish to use to actually solve them. So this is the circuit analysis that we've actually done. All right, see you next time. Thank you.